Fischer had two favorite countries to play in, Argentina and Yugoslavia. Of the 15 international tournaments, not counting interzonals and Olympiads, in which he competed, four were held in Argentina, including his first, Mar del Playa 1959 and his last, Buenos Aires 1970, and also his worst, Buenos Aires 1960. This was his favorite game from Mar del Plata. E2 E4 C7 C5 Knight G1 F3 E7 E6 D2 D4 C5 captures D4 Knight F3 captures D4 A7 A6 C2 C4 This had been considered a virtual refutation of 4. A 6 since the 1920s but Black's system made a comeback in the 1950s. Queen d8 c7. Knight b1 c3. Knight g8 f6. Fisher expressed the conventional wisdom of the 1960s when he said the restricting. a2 a3. Gave white a major edge. But today. Bishop f8 e7. Bishop c1 e3. Castling king side. Rook a1 c1. Knight b8 c6. And, knight take d4 is one of a few lines recognized as equal. Bishop f1 d3. Knight b8 c6. Bishop c1 e3. Fisher recommended. Knight c6 e5. So that black can meet. Castling king side. With. Knight e5 g4. And. Rook a1 c1. With. Knight f6 g4. Knight c6 captures d4. Bishop e3 captures d4. Bishop f8 c5. Bishop d3 c2. d7 d6. Castling king side. Bishop c8 d7. Knight c3 a4. Black seems to lose this game because he believes in the absolute defensibility of his position even after white controls b6. Here. Bishop d7 captures a4. Bishop c2 takes on a4. King e8 e7. Is more promising. Bishop c2 captures a4. Bishop c5 captures d4. Queen d1 takes on d4. e6 e5. Followed by, bishop c6. Rook a8 d8. Rook f1 d1. Castling king side. There was no reason to fear. Queen d4 captures d6. Queen c7 captures d6. Rook d1 takes on d6. Bishop d7 takes on a4. Bishop c2 captures a4. Knight f6 captures e4. Rook a1 c1. Queen c7 a5. Black must delay the usual liberating advances, d5 or, b5. b7 b5. c4 captures b5. a6 takes on b5. Knight a4 c3. After which b5 is a lingering target. Queen c7 a5. 
Queen d4 b6. A powerful move, used to similar effect by Vishwanathan Anand in a 1995 candidates match with Gatakamsky, that trades off the only active enemy piece. Queen a5 captures b6. If black tries. Queen a5 e5. Rook d1 captures d6. Knight f6 g4. His attack dies in its tracks after. g2 g3. Queen e5 h5. h2 h4. Knight g4 e5. Bishop c2 d1. Queen h5 g6. Knight a4 c5. Queen a5 takes on b6. Knight a4 captures b6. Bishop d7 c6. f2 f3. Knight f6 d7. White is making slow progress, a good policy since black may be tempted into d6 d5 c4 captures d5 e6 captures d5 which leads to a textbook disadvantage after e4 e5 knight f6 d7 knight b6 captures d7 rook d8 takes on d7 rook d1 d4 knight f6 d7 Knight b6 d5 Black will have good counterplay after Knight b6 a4 Knight d7 e5 Bishop c2 b3 G7 G5 And can defend his only weakness, D6, after Knight B6 captures D7 Rook D8 takes on D7 Rook D1 D2 Rook F8 D8 And, King F8 E7 Rook f8 d8 and king f8 e7 Knight b6 d5 Bishop c6 captures d5 Black shifts from watchful wadding to a strategy of making white's bishop bad and setting his own pawns on dark squares. That might work with the queens on the board. But here he underestimates the force of white's b4 and c4 in an engine. The other way of transforming the position. e6 captures d5. e4 captures d5. Knight d7 e5. Was adequate according to Fisher. D5 takes on C6. B7 takes on C6. B2 B3. C6 C5. Bishop C2 E4. Rook F8 E8. But he felt that. Knight D7 E5. Was best. 
Knight d5 e3. G7 g5. Stopping f4. Knight d5 e7. King g8 h8. Knight e7 captures c6. b7 captures c6. Bishop c2 a4. g7 g5. Knight b6 d5. Bishop c6 captures d5. e4 captures d5. e6 e5. b2 b4. g7 g6. Bishop c2 a4. A recurring theme now is the threat of bishop takes knight, since then c4 c5 would decide the game positionally. Black's last move avoids, for example, a6 a5, a2 a3, a5 captures b4, a3 takes on b4, rook d8 a8, bishop c2 f5, and it prepares, f5 and, king g7 f6. g7 g6 bishop c2 a4 b7 b6 b7 b6 a knight is always badly placed on b6 proves true after knight d7 b6 Bishop a4 b3 and c5 b7 b6 rook d1 d3 black must play 23 a5 and if 24 dot a3 then 24 f5 f7 f5 rook d3 a3 white threatens bishop takes d7 and rook captures a6 and he can meet black move 24 knight f6 with white move 25 bishop c6 Knight d7 b8 White wins after a6 a5 b4 captures a5 b6 takes on a5 Bishop a4 c6 Knight d7 b6 Rook c1 b1 Knight b6 takes on c4. Rook a3 c3. Knight c4 d2. Rook b1 b2. Knight d7 b8. c4 c5. B6 captures C5.
The barricade policy. B6 B5. Leaves white with a protected posade pawn that must win. Bishop A4 B3. Rook F8 F7. C5 C6. Rook D8 C8. Rook A3 A5. And A4. B6 takes on C5. B4 takes on C5. D6 captures C5. Rook C1 captures C5. King G8 G7. Black hopes to play, KD6, to blockade the pawn and protect E5. Wedge. Rook d8 d6. Rook a3 e3. Fails to do. Knight b8 d7. Rook c5 c7. Knight d7 f6. Bishop a4 b3. Black's position is hopeless. King g8 g7. Black hopes to play, kd6, to blockade the pawn and protect e5. Rook a3 b3. Rook f8 f7. d5 d6. The main threat is move 30 rook c7 and rook bb7. Knight b8 d7. Rook c5 c7. Knight d7 f8. Doubling on the 7th is decisive. For example. Knight d7 f6. Rook b3 b7. Rook f7 captures c7. D6 captures C7. Rook D8 C8. Bishop A4 B3. Knight F6 E8. Rook B7 B8. Knight E8 D6. Rook B8 captures C8. And, Bishop E6. Knight D7 F8. Rook B3 B7. Rook f7 captures c7. d6 captures c7. Rook d8 c8. White's winning method impressed with simplicity and clarity Russian author Leonid Verkhovsky said in a section of a 1989 book dedicated to Zook's Wang. Bishop a4 b3. Black has no useful moves since, and d7 allows, b6 and Caney where invites are b8. The finale was. A6 A5 A2 A4 H7 H6 H2 H3 G6 G5 G2 G4 F5 captures G4 H3 takes on G4 